I didn't know I was going to be doing this, but I happen to be wearing it. <laughs> so anyway, here you go. Well, thank you. Thank you Again. very much. Thank you. you know, you're thanking me, and I want to thank you guys. And I want to thank you parents. And I think sometimes we have to sit back and look how things really are. What a great community we live in. Folks, I'm telling you, um, not just because of our accomplishments and what we've done. Um, you saw it when you drove through town with those buses. I saw that guy who was digging a hole out in, Brand out in Masonville. He was digging and he took a chance. He probably didn't know what was going on. And he, he, he looked up and he, he was prouder than hell. You know, that's the kind of town we have. All those folks. And they're so very proud of you. And I think more so, you know, I'm proud of all the accomplishments you had on the, uh, on the field. Some teams never, ever make it to the semifinals in, in, in the state of Michigan. Ever. It's a dream. You did it in your second year. There are teams that have been playing baseball for 80 years in the state of Michigan that have never made it that far. So maybe you guys don't understand yet, but someday you will understand that the journey you had through this season is pretty special. It's a dream to most teams and most people. But when I say thank you, it's on behalf of our schools and behalf of our community for the way you represent us. When we get emails, when our superintendent gets an email from a restaurant or from an opposing coach talking about your behavior and your sportsmanship, that tells us a lot. Because not a lot, a lot of people don't just get on their computers and do that. It had to be something that they saw and recognized. And I'm very proud of that. I'm proud that we have baseball. I'm proud of our coaching staff. And I know he's a humble guy when it comes to this, but he would... If you don't know it by now, you knew he was all district. He's the all region coach of the year as well. Awesome. Right. Guys, thank you for representing us on the field so well. And thank you for representing us off the field as well. And parents, I've said it before. Thank you, thank you, thank you for choosing to raise your kids in Gladstone and send them to our school. You made a great choice, and um, uh, we're lucky to have parents like you folks, because I saw the other side, the, even this weekend, and I watched us, and I watched them. I'm a people watcher. I like to watch benches, and I like to watch fans in the stands about how they act and how they represent their community. You guys got an A+, plus, and I don't mark on a curve. You got an A+. Plus. Congratulations. Thank you, parents. Guys, I love you. I know these guys do. I'm going to hand it over to Coach and uh, let him present the awards. I'm going to run over and see if I can catch part of our four seniors playing in that game over there. <clears throat> and uh, I wish you the best. I look forward to next year. All right? Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach. I just I want to say one. I want to say one thing also, and that is um, Matt uh, went to bat for us, so to speak. Um, with the fan club, um, I met with his in his office, um, and all the paperwork behind the scenes that all the stuff that him and Gina do, it's absolutely incredible. I mean, the stuff that we don't see, I mean, I do uh, because I have to deal with it. But you guys, I mean, Matt spends a lot of time with this baseball stuff, and um, and getting money from the fan club. I know it was a big fight this year, um, but Matt said he was going to make it happen for us and for the girls. And so without Matt's help, I mean, we don't get that $1,000. We don't get that money to go down there uh, to spend on the kids. And we did all of that. So uh, Matt does uh, deserve a big thanks for that. Thank you. Thank you. It's worth every penny. <laughs> so thanks again, Matt. Thanks, Coach. Right. Thanks, Coaches. Great yeah. job.